Did you know there's some super cool things you can do in Tableau Web Edit that you can't do in Tableau Desktop? I'll show you five of them coming up next. It seems apparent that Tableau's ultimate goal is to provide complete parity between Tableau Desktop and Tableau Web Edit, where all the features in Tableau Desktop are also in Tableau Web Edit. And they've made incredible strides. Uh, but unfortunately, right now, Tableau Desktop still has a lot more functionality than Tableau Web Edit. But did you know there are a bunch of really cool things you can do in Tableau Web Edit that you absolutely cannot do in Tableau Desktop? We're going to check out five of those today. Number one, spell check. One of the most upvoted ideas on the Tableau Ideas forums is spell check. Unfortunately, in Tableau Desktop, there is no spell check option. What we tend to do is edit the text, copy it, throw it into Word or into an email, and then we do our spell check there. Unfortunately, Tableau Web Edit does not have spell check either, but the fact that it's in the browser allows us to add third party software applications that can allow us to do spell checks. Grammarly is one of those. It's a great tool. You can install it for free and it works with Tableau Web Edit. It also works with Twitter. It works with Google Sheets. It works with all kinds of applications, including Slack. And how this works? Well, if we're editing a text box, you'll see the little Grammarly icon come up. It'll highlight the issues. We can hover over it and, and change, or we can just click on this box and it allows us to go through and accept these. It'll also work while we're typing and highlight those issues. It looks at spelling and grammar, and it is a fantastic tool. So if you want to use spell check in Tableau, download, install Grammarly, and use it in web edit. Number two, hyperlinks. Tableau Desktop, if you want to create a hyperlink, you have to type out the entire URL like I did here. If I click on this, it'll take me to that website. What if I want to embed that on the name of Luke Stanky? Luke Stanky created this viz. I want to embed that hyperlink within the name Luke Stanky. I can highlight his name, right click, and there's no options for me to actually embed a hyperlink on his name. One trick I've used in Tableau Desktop is to drag an image out here and we'll cover his name. We'll center it. We'll choose a transparent shape, which you've probably seen me do before. Then we're going to paste this URL into this URL opened, URL opened when image is clicked box. We'll hit OK here. We'll drag that down a little bit and then we'll edit this text to make it look like a hyperlink. We'll make it blue. We'll make it underlined. So now when I hover over it, it's interacting with this image and then the text is blue. It looks like a hyperlink. So that works, but it's awful hacky uh, and, and it requires floating objects, which you may or may not be able to do. So there is a solution and the solution is web edit. It's a whole lot better solution and it doesn't require that hackiness. So let's go over to web edit. You have the same box I had before. I'm going to get rid of this altogether. You probably see some editing happening here, but if I select his name and I just press control V control Victor, you'll see what happens is it turned this into a hyperlink. If I click on it, it's a hyperlink. How freaking cool is that? And the fact that this is in the browsers allowing us to do this. Now, uh, there are a few little caveats I should warn you about. You have to copy that text directly from the website. If you copy it from somewhere else, Word or in this viz itself, and then try and paste it, it will not work. You also can't right click and paste. You have to use the control V. But once you have it in there, you have a lot of flexibility to edit it however you want. You can edit the the text, you can edit the link itself. So really cool feature that you can do a web edit, but you can't do in desktop. Number three, zoom. I'm getting old and my eyes are going bad. Plus I'm a perfectionist. So a lot of times what I want to do in Tableau desktop is zoom into an area just to make sure I can get it perfect. Say for this logo, for example, it looks a little bit funky. What I find myself doing is hitting the control tree key and trying to use my mouse wheel to, to zoom in, but that's not a functionality in Tableau Desktop. Now, it's not a functionality in Tableau Web Edit either, but the fact that it's in a browser allows us to use the browser zoom to be able to zoom in. 
So I can hold my control key and hit that scroll and I can zoom into an area, right? I might have to use my little scroll bars here to get to what I want, but I can get to it. I could also use the normal um, functions in, within the browser, but this allows me to look at this logo and say, hey, actually looks pretty good, I'm all set. So the fact that we can zoom in using the browser allows us to zoom in to a Tableau dashboard and get things absolutely perfect. So Zoom, another cool feature um, that al is allowable because WebEdit is in the browser. Number four, full hierarchy control. Tableau Desktop, you can go over to the Layout tab and you can see the whole item hierarchy. You can see containers and everything within the containers. Here's a big vertical container with a bunch of horizontal containers inside of it. And within this item hierarchy, you can move things around. I can move this container to be right there. Well, I can move this vertical container to be above this horizontal. I'll undo that because that vertical's got piles of things in it. But what I can't do is move things around within a container. So we have these three sheets up here and I'd like to kind of move those around. Sure, I can do it up here, but I can't do it in the item hierarchy. In WebEdit, you have full item hierarchy control. So if we go over to layout and make this a little bit wider, we can do the same things we were doing here before. I can scroll down, I can drop this down below this vertical, right? I'm gonna undo that. But the additional value we have in WebEdit is that I can move these sheets around inside of a container. I can drag this band up. I can drag this over and you can watch up here, watch as these move. So cool little feature that you can do in WebEdit and not in desktop. And number five, keyboard shortcuts. I love keyboard shortcuts. They save so much time. And Tableau Desktop has a fair number of them. For example, if I hit Control M, It'll add a new worksheet. But Tableau Web Edit has even more keyboard shortcuts. If we jump over to Tableau Web Edit, Control M doesn't add a new worksheet, but if I hit Control Alt and T, it'll add a new worksheet. So I can do that as many times. But there's a bunch of other ones. For example, if I hit Alt 2, it'll allow me to rename a data source. I don't know how often we're re renaming data sources, but it's pretty handy. If I hit Control S, it'll publish. If I hit Control Alt S, it'll publish as. If I hit Alt Q, it'll close the thing and I ask you to publish or not publish. So there's lots of those different ones in Tableau Web Edit, quite a few more than what we have in Tableau Desktop. There it is, five things you can do in Web Edit that you can't do in Desktop. For more Tableau tutorials, check out FleurledgeTwins.com.